I think because she's 26, she's making dumb decisions <laughs> like wanting him back. Like, the man punched you, nah. Facts. Nah. That should have been your first time to, or I'm sure it's been more should've than been just that. Time. That's just what she deserves. <laughs> <laughs> Before the video starts, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into it. It was a fight in Tanks. It was Tanks and Darwin. And um, our teacher was like this, this, this younger, like white, white girl, whatever. Like she, you could tell she's like she was pretty new, and she did the wrong thing of stepping in between. So she got, you know, she got hit. And mind you, this is like day three. She's like, fuck this. Shit, I'm done and dip, never saw her ass again. And then they replaced her with Miss Was it Miss Johnson? I think it was Miss Johnson, yeah. She was she was she was ready. <laughs> yeah, she didn't play no games. <laughs> Are you still in contact with any of your teachers? My fifth grade teacher, I got her on Facebook. I'm actually messaging my sixth grade teacher now. I'm gonna be like you. You're my hero. Was, was no, <laughs> this is actually my uh, ELA teacher from sixth grade. English learners. English language arts. Ah, there you go. Hello, <laughs> children of the world. Welcome back to today's episode of the Squabble Podcast. It's popping. I used to say that all the time. Now I'm never gonna say that again. That's crazy. That used to be like my catchphrase. When Y'all ready? Yeah. I was late picking up my boyfriend from work and he punched me. We Damn. argued before, but this was the first time it got physical. I had a busted lip. A week later, my boyfriend, a mechanic. Stop. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I, why did I think it was another boyfriend? Oh, no. keep, I, these stories are so, they're so crazy. I... <laughs> a week later, my boyfriend, a mechanic, was in my grandfather's garage inspecting the underside of his car. He says my grandfather entered the garage, spoke to him about the car, and then bumped the car so hard that it fell on top of him. My boyfriend says my grandfather walked away and left him in the garage to die. Neighbors heard him yelling and got the car off of him. Boyfriend called the police. Neighbors denied helping him. My grandfather says he's old and is hard of hearing. He had no idea that the car was on top of my boyfriend. No jail time for gramps. A few months later, my boyfriend proposed to me at my birthday party and grandpa said, no, she won't marry you. And if you ever put your hands on her again, I'll come to your job and crush you with the car. My boyfriend took back the proposal and appears to have dumped me. I'm 26 with no kids. He was my last chance at a fairy tale wedding and family. How do I get him to come back to me? First of all, grandfather, hero. Absolutely. Second of all, you're 26, chill out. Agreed. Third, I think because she's 26, she's making dumb decisions <laughs> like wanting him back. Like, the man punched you, nah. Facts. Nah. That should have been your first time, too. Or I'm sure it's been more should've than been just that. That's just what she deserved. What just happened? I was going to post that so they could attack you. <laughs> I said, should have been. He said, two, he punched you, so leave. I said, well, it should have been on time. Then <laughs> you. Oh, I want him to post it so I can attack him. Because <laughs> oh, they, they, can't, they, can't, they can't discern when you're using I'm going to go ahead and turn on the fan, if you don't mind. <laughs> I'm traumatized. I left my boyfriend, Tuki. We dated for three years for Kwame, a man I met on Facebook. Tuki stopped exciting me. We weren't getting married. We weren't breaking up. We were just existing. Kwame offered me an escape. He promised me a dream life. He sent daily prayers and he cash apps me $200 for my birthday. This sounds familiar. We read this one before. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, she, 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 yeah. she got scammed by Kwame, I believe, right? Did she get scammed? Don't send her $1,000 for wasting her time. She would tell Tuki everything. I blocked her, sent Tuki our conversations. 
No, maybe it's just similar. Oh, I think all of our similar. stories are toxic as fuck. Yeah. yeah. All right. Sorry. Start over. It did yeah. sound familiar. It, no, I thought it was the exact, names and everything. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I'm traumatized. I left my boyfriend Tuki. We dated for three years for Kwame, a man I met on Facebook. Tuki stopped exciting me. We weren't getting married. We weren't breaking up. We were just existing. Kwame offered me an escape. He promised me the dream life. He sent daily prayers and he cashed out to me $200 for my birthday. Kwame invited me to come to Houston for a weekend getaway. And he said I didn't need to bring clothes because, wait, yeah. He said I didn't need to bring clothes because he was going to shop for me. I landed in Houston when I found out Kwame didn't exist. He was a female, butch lesbian pimp named Naomi. Damn. <laughs> who met me at the airport with a G-string and high heels and a duffel bag. I'm gonna need you to pay that $200 back plus interest. You know what it is. I ran back to security area to find a cop. Naomi was gone, but she hit me up on Facebook several times and threatened that if I don't send her $1,000 for wasting her time, she would tell Tuki everything. I blocked her. She sent Tuki our conversations about his lazy sex and my vagina news. Tuki moved out and told everyone I left him for a woman. I want my man back. Advice. You, you're not getting your man back. Nope. Yeah. Or even <laughs> wanting him in the first place. Yeah, the yeah. first time the other person actually didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah. Tuki's gone. All right. That's the rough one. Cheating on my girlfriend with her hot manager. In my defense, I met my girl at her job, a local bar. I met her manager first. But I was scared to approach her since I set up for my girlfriend. I treated my girlfriend nicely, always picked her up after work, bought her jewelry, and made her think I was ready for something serious. I knew she would tell her manager about me. I knew her manager would come for me, and she did. I went to my girlfriend's job when I knew she was off, and the manager invited me to stay after the bar closed. We had a few drinks. She's a horny drunk. I gave her some finger action, and her cat was the worst dead fish smell I've ever smelled. Mm. I stopped everything and left. Nothing could stop my smelly hand. I washed it, hand sanitizer, and it still had to had to hold out, hold it out the window while driving home. Manja was pissed. She cut my girlfriend's hours and wrote her up. I have stank cat PTSD. I'm mentally scarred. I'm still smell my hand and I don't want sex with anyone anymore. My girl is frustrated that I can't get hard anymore. What to do? Well, leave both of them alone. Uh, First of all, you cheated on your own. I was gonna say that's uh that's kind of karma for cheating. Yeah, that's instant karma at that yeah. point. And it's just there's nothing worse than not being able to be happy by doing this. <laughs> that's supposed to be a good a, a good thing. Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> The king is seeking a castle and a queen. I got, I get released on July 1st and the queen I've been working on for the past five years has two roommates and they don't want me to crash there. My mama won't let me stay. Why are mothers so quick to cut their sons off? I'm only 33. She's still my mama. I've been in the belly of the beast for five years for a crime I committed. Stalking, kidnapping, kidnapping, and bread. Ah, wow, I can't speak. Let me start that over. The king is seeking a castle and a queen. I get released on July 1st, and the queen I've been working on for the past five years has two roommates, and they don't want me to crash there. My mama won't let me stay. Why are mothers so quick to cut their sons off? I'm only 33. She's still my mama. I've been in the belly of the beast for five years for a crime I committed. Stalking, kidnapping, and grand theft. And I paid my dues to society. My mother is too busy taking Ozempic and shaking her pancake ass in the clubs instead of being there for her only son. I learned to trade inside. I'm a barber. I work out. I've been with one partner for companionship, but I but I prefer females otherwise. I'm clean. I've got my natural teeth, only missing front tooth, and I read, give good good messages. Massages, I think. Is what he meant to say? I think that's what he meant to say, but it says messages. Give good massages and great head. I'm a catch. How can she expect grandkids, future blessings from Yahweh, 
and she's throwing me to the curb when I need her most. How do I make my mama be a better woman towards me when I get out? What's that? What's that word again? So he's still in. Yeah. He gets so when he life. says he gets good massages and good head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but he still prefers women. He's only been with one partner. Nah, yeah. So, For companionship. Doesn't what, matter. What's, what's that word everyone likes to use? So that means he's not gay? So because he's been a woman, he's not gay? I mean, one man, he's not gay? No, he ain't gay. So if I cheat one time, I'm not a cheater? Don't worry about that. Nah, nah, that's the same logic. He's only been one man, so he's not gay. He prefers women. I only cheated one time, so I'm not a cheater. I prefer to stay loyal. It's the same thing, based on what y'all are saying. I didn't say he's not gay. He said he's not. Ah. I'm going by what you said. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. he, he said it. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with being gay. But... I thought she was about to say it. <laughs> well, like, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with cheating one time. I thought you were about to go like, whoa. Not. There's several things wrong with that. But there's nothing wrong with being gay. So why is he? Mm. First off, grow up. You're 33. You've been in jail for five years. So that means you went to jail when you were 28. You didn't have your life together then. Yeah, your mom don't owe you shit. She, you're 33. She did. She did her part. Yeah. And you, you failed at that. Agreed. Agreed. All right. <clears throat> a very small group of friends and I dabble in sex work when we travel abroad. It's safe. We spend a weekend with execs on a rented yacht. It's called yachting, and many models do it. No big deal. Except my cousin's husband was one of the men on board. I didn't service him. My friend did. And a few weeks later, he confided to me that she's HIV uh, positive. So I'm sorry, sorry, she confided to me that she's HIV positive. My friend is super nasty. Also, she gets paid more than us because she offers the girlfriend experience and she never uses condoms. No one in my family knows I go yachting. They think I model and work for Spirit Airlines. So how do I tell my cousin that her husband cheated and may expose her to HIV? Help. Mm -hmm. Just say you saw him out with another girl and she needs to get tested. Yeah, but then it's gonna go down the rabbit hole of where did you see him? It, it's gonna, any way she tells him, she tells her she's gonna find out. So, I mean, how much do you care about your cousin? Exactly. It's like, you're gonna, you're probably gonna have to just expose yourself. Yeah. Cause, cause I, I, you go, you go to a family function and she's right there not knowing. Exactly. You know? And that makes you a shit person if you don't tell her. Yeah. So. <laughs> Damn. I thought I wanted a ghetto bitch until I got one. Goddamn. I've been hitting it rough for a month and she's trying to make me her man and savior. She says that she loves me more than God, herself and her two kids. I like her, but her devotion is too deep. I told her that we should relax and take a break from each other. And she mentioned that if she can't have me, I'm just going to have to go back to jail because baby, ooh, I'll kill for you. She never mentioned she was in jail before. I'm afraid. Advice. That's what you heard about? I'll kill for you. I'll go back to jail. Whoa, whoa. you never said you was in jail. What the fuck is this? This is new information. She just said she'd kill for you. That sounds like a good story. Like, all right. Yeah, that's, that's a, a good, comment. That's, that's a good woman right there. I don't want nobody that loves more than God. <laughs> God. Herself. That's crazy. And her kids. Mm -hmm. Two kids. <laughs> Both of them. Not even one of them made it. Kids. <laughs> but God, God is way bigger. I agree. But, yeah, but she loves more than her kids. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can be. I'm not saying I want that, but I can be okay with that. But you telling me you love me more than God? That's the problem. Nah, I'd, 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 I'd be afraid too. What? I was trying to see how long I was. I, for I, someone to love you more than their kids. Oh, how long their relationship yeah. was? Yeah, that long. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't not, be that long. No, nah, I'd, I'd be afraid too because like... Couldn't be because he be, wouldn't think it was weird if it was. Yeah. No, I'd be afraid because then it becomes, uh, if I can't have you, I'm going to kill you type shit. Well, that's what she said. That's basically... Wanda, last week, you said you would love somebody to be obsessed with you. This like that. obsess is different. <laughs> yeah, not like that, yeah. Upset, not, not to the fact where it's like, oh, I'm going to kill you. Yeah. Like, nah, that's, that's, that's a... Dre was dating Nora when we met. I won him, and we've been off and on for six years. We have two sons. Last year, I proposed to him because I want my boys to know their father loves them, and if we were not 
this guy. And if we were to get married, he couldn't bounce around me and the other woman. I proposed. Drake said yes, and he immediately let himself go. Drake gained 60 to 70 pounds. Damn, I'm sorry, babe. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> let me start that over. My bad. Drake was dating Nora when we met. I won him, and we've been on and off for six years. We have two sons. Last year, I proposed to him because I want my boys to know that their father loves them. If we And if we get married, he couldn't bounce around. Then blah, blah. Like it's time time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dre was dating Nora when we met. I won him and we've been on and off. Go ahead. Are you speaking? She's already doing the teachers. Are you speaking when I'm speaking? Well, my, yeah, gonna, when I'm talking, y'all are not. She got to stare down back. See, you're a good practice. I'm going to give a fuck. Call my mama. Oh, okay. No, that was last week. <laughs> Oh, yeah, go ahead. This is your education you're wasting. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> I got my degree. Y'all are working to get yours. <laughs> Dre was dating Nora when we met. I won him, and we've been on and off for six years. We have two sons. Last year, I proposed to him because I want my boys to know their father loves them, and if we were to get married, he couldn't bounce around between me and the other woman. I proposed, Dre said yes, and he immediately let himself go. Dre gained 60 to 70 pounds since I proposed. He was a pharmaceutical rep. A major reason he got a good job was because of his athletic build. Athletic Dre could convince doctors' offices to carry new drugs. Fat Dre got fired. <laughs> I tried everything to help him lose weight, but he kept eating. I asked him if he was nervous about the wedding, and he replied, you were on your knee proposing in front of your sons, and I felt bad. I love my sons. I care about you. But I married Nora at the courthouse two years ago. I won't divorce her for you. I'm sick AF. My sons don't know he's married. So I need advice on breaking up this marriage and keeping him away from Nora for good. Yes, I'm willing to break the law to win him back. I've been married to somebody for two years. But you've been on and off for and six. Got two kids over here. Dre's not. You're gaining weight because of the stress of your weight. He's gaining weight because he's stressed in life. Yeah. <laughs> <Because> he's got <laughs> two different lives going yeah. on. It's all his fault, but. That's crazy. Mm. I have no advice. If, okay, I'm going to list three things. Mm -hmm. You can only pick one. And uh, the scenario is which of these will get you, do you think will get you the furthest in life? That could be successful or whatever aspect, aspect right? Mm -hmm. So emotional intelligence, mm -hmm. street smarts, book smarts. You can only pick one. The rest of them, you have zero of it. Street smarts. Street smarts will get you the furthest. And, you're, and we'll go into this. I say emotional. I'd probably say book smarts. Oh, okay, we're all Interesting. All right, so. I gave everybody like a minute. We're gonna like we're not gonna try to convince the other people. We're just gonna state our case as to why we feel. Um and there's a part B. So you ready? Mm -hmm. Well she did think. That's true. Yeah. Well I, I didn't think it for <laughs> a different reason. No, no, no. I, I didn't think it for a different reason. So I I would say I do have book smarts, but I've always been told I don't really have the like street knowledge because I was sheltered. But I feel like if I did have the street knowledge, I could have been a little bit further because I could have navigated life a little bit differently versus just staying on the straight and narrow of what I thought was the right way and going after books when I see people that never even went to college and they're a lot further in life than I am. That's true, but also having street smarts means you're doing things on the streets that can get you locked up. Because just because you're smart don't mean you ain't gonna get caught. Well, well that's street not what smart I thought. is yeah. could be like you could read a room in a club and you could tell if some shit's gonna pop off. Like you're not just naive to okay. like that's how you interpret it. So that's fine, but yeah, that's not what I was thinking. thinking. Like, you're out there in these streets. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I do say drug dealers like, could be no, would no, be good no, businessmen no, or women. Yeah. Well, good drug dealers. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, I've I've seen the ones who aren't good. 
Yeah. I say emotional because there's, everybody's heard this, I'm sure, at some point in their life. People won't remember, after years later, people may not remember what you said, but they'll remember how you made them feel. So if you could appeal to somebody's emotional manner or emotional state, then they, that might open up doors for you. All these could open up doors for you, but that, yeah. that's my case. I might open up doors for you, hey, like that's what happened. That's how I ended up in Alabama. The Siley that's that was that is there wasn't a Siley at the time. He was in College Park. He was an area manager, and he called me up and was like, "Hey, I've, I see that you. I've heard that you want to transfer. We're having union problems. We need a people person to come to this building. I remember back at that three, you were a people person. The associates loved you. Come help us. That's so he remembered me three years later. Yeah. So it was like you appeal to people's emotions and with the jobs you currently have and we used to have. You can get the associates to do damn near anything if you want how to speak to them and talk to them. All they want is respect. That is true. I probably should have picked so, them up yeah. instead of them. They hate to feel like they're just a number. Yeah. yeah. And every, anybody yeah. works. Yeah. Any job, any life situation. Because that's, 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 that's how I get them to pick up my shit. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I listen and I apply. It's like, oh, I don't think that would be a good idea. It's like, man, try it. <laughs> I was like, it's either going to work or it ain't. It's like, whatever. I guess I'll pick book smarts just because, like, you know, you gain the intelligence, you should be, as long as you can apply it correctly, you can, you know, um, gain success. But then, here in the street smarts one, is like, can you apply it? Because <laughs> if you just have the book smarts, you don't have the, you don't have the experience, you know, like, or, 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 or like, you might be like, okay, I, I studied this, you know, I've done all this, but I haven't actually done it, you know? Um, so it's like, it's hard for me to pick one because all of them kind of go hand in hand. Because like I have, because sure. like I'm not in I'm in streets, but I, I have decent enough street smarts. Like anytime I was in I was someplace where something was gonna pop off, you couldn't find me. <laughs> I could read it in the air. I could, somebody gonna shoot, you know? <laughs> like, you, you, you could smell it. Like I'm very I'm very much the person. Like if I if I if I see an altercation happening, I know I probably shouldn't be here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like, you don't have to put this part, but it's like, you know, like at the wedding, like even though I was, I was, you know, not in the right mind, I'm like picking up little things. I'm like, okay, certain thing, I'm like, this seems like this might cause this problem and this might cause yeah. this problem, you know, luckily it didn't. <laughs> but I'm like, if I saw, if I heard like one too many, like little, you know, so I was like, all right, this ain't for me. Yeah. I don't know everybody like that. <laughs> so I don't want to get caught up in the drama. You stuff. talking about your car? When we were at your car. No, I'm talking about like when he came back. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. So it's like you know, so it's like I'm, I'm picking up on things like like when this is like when he was talking to one, and it, it it seemed like there was a confrontation, mm -hmm. you know. So I'm like, oh, I'm picking up little things, you know. So I'm like, man, I got you there. But I was like, nah, I'm good. So like, at the same time, but I do know, you know, I have the book smarts, mm -hmm. you know. So like, I can apply both. So I'm gonna choose the fourth answer. Oh, Which is going to be above. <laughs> but no, you can't because part B uh, is based on what you did answer. So I'll stick to book street, to do book, it. emotional. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For your partner in life, do you want them to have the same the same intelligence as you, as you pick, or a different one than what you pick? Different one. Yeah. Um, well, it's stronger today. what I pick, I don't think I have. So it's a little different. I pick based off of what I think is the best, not necessarily what I have. Because if it was okay, based so off do of, you want? Would you in a perfect world? Would you want me to have the same? What you have? Do you want me to have the the same emo or the same intelligence or a different one? Different from what I have. Yeah, because yeah, because because, because, because yeah, because you you want you want the other person to to feel 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 what she yeah. don't have, you know, feel what I'm lacking. Yeah. Yeah, but so I feel like with half the cup, you put the rest in. I feel like that could go to very loosely with the love language shit. Mm -hmm. Where like if she's physical touch and I'm what is it, uh quality time, mm -hmm. it's like But that but but that's the thing about love languages, it's not about having the same ones, it's knowing how to appeal to that other person. Mm -hmm. Or something. If that's if I'm not a touchy person, and that's her thing. Is like how to like I'd have to either go out of my comfort zone, or she'd have to go out of hers to like fall back, or I have to go out of mine to get it. Sounds like a relationship. But if you have somebody <laughs> that has the same, 
and you're above quality time. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it would be easier. It, it makes it easier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that's that's the thing. It's like relationships aren't easy. It's you you do have to get out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Yourself. And it sucks sometimes, but that's how it is. Yeah. I know some people that. There are, I, I know some people who are the exact same person. No, I was gonna say I know some people that are like steadfast or like not love language literally, but like they're like these are my steadfast things. If you don't fit, then no matter how much I like how you look or I like how much we hang out or how much fun we have when we hang out, it's not gonna work. Yeah. And some of them are married that have those steadfast and they found that person. I don't know how they're you know how how they're working out, and some of them are not. So I guess it's just, it's just it's, the luck it's, of the draw. It's, it's the person. There's never a, a, a single answer to these things. Some people you're like, how the hell do they, are, are, are they, are they get, how the hell do they make it work? But it do. Okay. And then the last thing for me at least is, would you rather have robotic legs or robotic arms? And once a month, they malfunction and you can't control it for at least four hours. Arms. Arms. Why not legs? <laughs> I'm not gonna answer that for myself. <laughs> well, once a month for four hours is gonna malfunction. I feel so like no matter where you could be at. The, yeah, but I could walk. Yeah, I feel like legs would be more dangerous because God forbid it malfunctions and walks me into traffic. But arms, you could. I don't know. I I'm just, okay. you're, in the, you're in your classroom in a couple months and you're like, and the answer is, yeah, I'll ignore this guy. You know how it is. This is a regular drill once a month. You know how right, it is. So imagine this. I'm at work. I'm like, all right, let me go stack it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like this for four hours. <laughs> praying. That's <laughs> like, help. I'm, no, I'm just you're like, I'm praying. Like, nah, right. It's a meditation thing. Because at least if it's like, I'm carrying something that's like, I dropped the box. Yeah. You know, I'm like, oh, well, can't. Now, you that, see it. And it, there, there you go. And then I have a little excuse, but like, I, I can't do nothing right now. My, I can't even type, so I was, I, four hours off. I was thinking more so, yes, you could walk in the track or stop in the middle of the track, or like you're driving and you just, but in terms of, outside of the extra automotive problems, arms is more likely I could hurt myself because I could swing this way, hit my face, but legs, or unless it's like clearly inverting itself and kicking me, but I don't see any harm to myself. Oh, you mean, Outside you mean, of the traffic and the driving. <laughs> yes. <that's gone. laughs> that's pulverized. Yeah, but. Like, nah. Well, in your, in, your lot, in your thing, you're, when I said malfunction, you just saw it as it shuts down. Well, that's one thing. Yeah. But. I could be over here, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the stanky leg. Like, I saw it as, like, it's taking control. That's why mm -hmm. I said it could walk me into traffic. Absolutely not. There you go. Did y'all know that in each country, well, let me not say each, but in different countries, there are different versions of Big Bird? The mm -hmm. Sesame You knew that? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, I didn't There's know that. There's different versions of Zach and Cody. Yesterday. Like, Zach and Cody wasn't dubbed over. They had different Indian twins mm -hmm. oh yeah, no yeah. i didn't know that yeah. but i didn't know the big bird version like this is the <laughs> this is the brazilian big bird oh yeah. my god <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, does, like, it looks the same each but a lot of countries have like different colors like there's a yo he do the math yeah. he, he, do, he, he do that he do a breaking bad math that's why he that's why he blew garibaldo and his eyes garibaldo <laughs> that's crazy Oh my god, that's terrifying. I would not be happy to watch that. Pick two things to bring back from the 90s. You can either bring back gas prices, however, it has to be for a vehicle model that is before the year 2000. Mortgage and rent prices, however, no central air or heating. <laughs> or grocery prices, but you can only eat at restaurants from the 90s or before. Give me restaurants and uh, gas prices. Same. Hell no. I'm not driving a car that's the same age as me. That's because you, you didn't know. choose that. I'm, that's why I'm, I'm saying that's why I wouldn't choose because I don't want to drive a car, a 90s do, car. Do the car work? It's 2020 fucking four. Do the car work? I'm not driving that old ass car. Do the car, car work? 
This, yeah, you could fill up for 90 something cents, but that shit ain't gonna shut down the next red light. It could be, be brand new from the 90s. Oh, you know what? How the fuck is it gonna be brand new from the 90s? I think that's bring back. it back. Yeah, I take that back. I did choose mortgage and grocery prices. My apologies. I didn't choose. Hell no. Nah. It's gonna, I don't choose any of these motherfuckers. It's gonna be <laughs> hot as hell. You know how easy you get hot? Yeah, but I have my personal fan. It doesn't, it doesn't. Nah. Well, it's just gonna be blowing hot air. Gets. It's gonna be blowing hot air. That's because you blow. You have that fan when the upstairs is already air. 66 degrees, <laughs> and you have that fan blowing to 66 degrees. Yes. If there's no ace, no central, it's gonna be hotness blowing on your ass. Take, take, take it from someone whose dad uh, 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 refused to turn the AC on. No, I have a grandma right. that refused to turn the AC yes. on because of her arthritis. Shouldn't be. Right. Or shooting me. Sorry. Kids. But I will oh, choose the kids. food, the food, because there's a lot of restaurants that are open since yeah, not open. Before. It's just not healthy. Yeah, I'll, but I'll, 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 take, I'll take the car, man. Excuse we'll me. We'll be back in the Crown Vic. You... <laughs> man, come on, bro. You, you tripping? Nah, you Classics, tripping? Man. Did you know that there's a, a section of Canada that has three streets? The first one is this street. The second one is that street. The third one. Is the other street? You know, sometimes Canada does make sense. <laughs> I it, thought that was pretty cool. It makes it, it's like, hey, which street going down? This street? <laughs> but what if you don't street. mean that street? Doesn't matter. Like, where are you at? This or where are you going? That street? But you're pointing, so you really mean that. You don't mean the name that. Yeah. That's where no. the, that's where the fun lies. Hell that's why no. it makes sense. <laughs> Pure utter confusion and chaos. I love it. There's a is it Alaska? Or it's twenty four seven because of where it sits on the earth, it's twenty four seven sunlight. It's a Alaska, it Alaska? But it's not twenty four seven. Oh, just, okay. I mean, there might be a place, maybe, but like I'm, I know Alaska is like it just it is sunlight for a long time, mm. but I'm pretty sure it's not twenty four. But I could be wrong. What's that? A hat. Crazy funky jumpy hat. Did y'all realize? Ooh, that hurt. <laughs> Have y'all ever just like sat there and thought about the fact that there could be a ghost aggressively break dancing right next to you and you, you never know? You, I don't. You, the you mommy and it. daddy. Yeah. You see those two. So let me say it again that. for the clip. Why am I making a clip out of that shit? Oh, okay. Well, fuck <laughs> you too then. Break dancing. Da, 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 da. You oh, think okay. we're clowns? I can't read. No, clowns illiterate and fucking ditzy. I was, I was, Who the fuck said I was ditzy? The niggas. The the fruit, uh, not what was the, one of the questions? They said like, I was fat, not dizzy. No, not the the one that was like. Remember the doctor was like, actually there is salt. They didn't say the words you're ditzy, um, and then one dude was like, don't let bro read no more, and then you're a clown. Wait, I think they said no, they told him, they said don't let me read no more, <laughs> and then that's the same one where I was like, I pulled it to you, I was like, I just want to show you that it's not the I can't read. It's literally that's why I said that last. Time. I just want to show that it's the way they typed it on this one. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I do fuck up. But I was going to talk about the Oh. Oh, go ahead. Ask it. Oh, my God. Now we're fucking jigaboos. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. Go ahead, baby. <laughs>